So update on the car build. Uh, most of the mechanics are done. But apart from the gearbox, at the minute there's no gearbox to run the petrol engine off. I've got the clutch, I've got the prop shaft, but that's it. So up to now I've just been driving electrically. But this space here is has always been for the gearbox to go in. So was, at last it's time to do the gearbox and here it is. So hopefully that's according to the drawings it all it's all gonna fit in that gap. Uh, with the the drives for the electric are going to have to go on the outside as well so there'll be one each side but then that's okay because then uh, the electrics has got a limited slip diff on it as well so that'll be able to work rather than having them both on one one gear like they are at the moment where I've got these uh, gears out of a, a pit bike they're probably slightly too big but uh, the price is right. This differential gear which works with that uh, came out of the 9 inch angle grinder spare gear. So it's three speeds, no reverse, just three forward speeds. So We've got, this is the uh, first gear, oh, that's in first, hang on, that's in first, no it isn't, where is it, oh, that's first, then that one goes into neutral, then sec second, change gear I'll be using these little air cylinders so there'll be two on top for this one and one around the back of the first gear the limited slip diff clutch pack is inside there which you can't see but you can see the plates on there so six, three plates I think if you just count the driving plates there's three and these are the this is the differential gears these are from a four and a half inch angle grinder. So I'm just going to connect this up. So that's it. That's built up. Uh, seems to be quite a bit of drag. Maybe it could be better when it's got a bit of oil in it, I don't know. But it might be making a right racket, I don't know. These are my CV, new CV joints, I'm going up a size. Uh, the old one had 5mm pins, this one's got 6mm pins so I don't think they're going to be strong enough the ones that are in at the minute that's that thing but hopefully I'll still be able to use the boot moulding
Don't want to make that any more. Oh, there's the lid. I'm trying to take some weight out as I go along. This, this was seven and a half kilos when I first built it up, which is ridiculous. It's now down to uh, 6.3, I think. With taking all this scallop in everywhere. And that, which takes a while on a manual machine. Uh, I don't want to get it below six, I'd like it at five and a half really. Um, which is still heavy, but I can live with that. I'd like to use some of these 500 titanium bolts I've had for the last 30 years as well. Uh, that's about it for this one. There's last two and a half months work so far and probably two months to go so we'll see you next time